Hi everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is a replay sent to me from Tim Bob from what university? Southeast Asia clan? I had the great pleasure of watching a few replays and a bit of live streaming over the weekend from the Pink Aussie, the Lone Ranger, who kindly hosted some tournament games that some of the MI6 guys as well as some ANZAF guys uh, think and what University Southeast Asia were involved in, and it was very entertaining. Now yeah, in this replay, it's a bit of a slow start, but it's Tim Bob is driving the VK28.01, the Tier 6 German light tank. And the reason it's a little bit slow at the start is two reasons. He's got a fair amount of lag in this game, which you might be able to see in the top left-hand corner of the screen. I'm not sure if, if my replays indicate his lagging or not but he does flip the tank at one point uh, but he is in a tier 6 light tank so he doesn't really want to be up the front of the fight he's trying to get a bit of vision out for his team notice he hasn't got binoculars on this light tank which I would normally run binoculars in a light tank but he might have optics tries to put a cheeky shot into the other VK2801 on the enemy side But the shot goes a bit wide. It's, it doesn't look like it's that accurate, this gun. It looks like it's a bit of a derpy kind of high alpha, low rate of fire type gun. I can't remember ever having this tank. I might have a long time ago. But it's certainly not a tank that I currently own. Anyway, Tim, Bob's, Tim Bob is trying to get a bit of vision out for his, for his team. see a lot of a lot of the tanks on Tim Bob's on Tim Bob's team you can see they've gone all the way down the beach and gone up here towards the enemy base which is going to provide a little bit more vision towards the, the southern central side of the map but um, whether or not they walk into a big heap of pain with all the enemy TDs and the enemy big scary tanks so I'm not really sure if that's what they're gonna do I can't see their point of view one of them's been taken out already the RHM sorry that Skoda was killed by the RHM which that's where the RHMs normally sit on this map down on the southern side but anyway Tim Bob still trying to get a little bit of vision the game's in the balance I guess at the moment at three apiece unlucky not to land that shot onto the type 58 or the FCM just coming back over using a ridge line and trying to get a few cheeky shots off but I don't know if it's the lag or if it's just because he's auto aiming and, and sort of clutch firing he hasn't landed a shot yet and all of a sudden all those tanks that went down the beach are now dead and Tim Bob's team are down three three to five still providing a good amount of vision in the central part of the map but that FCM is not a tank that Tim Bob really wants to take on by himself in this little German light tank. He's trying to get a cheeky shot into the artillery and he does. He takes out the tier 8 German artillery which is another tank that I've just bought recently. The score's even now at 6 apiece and now it's the time for Team Bob and his little light tank to get into the fight and try to get some opportunistic cheap shots into the enemy without without getting a shot in return. That's the aim of the game in this kind of situation. Puts a little shot into the T-34-1 but he's spotted so he pulls right back. Looks like a lot of the enemy tanks are all in the same sort of area. Looks like they've all sort of turtled up a little bit back here going by the chat looks like the American tier 8 artillery the M4043 is is putting a little bit of pain into into the red tanks and just about all of the enemy tanks are now spotted Tim Bob puts a shot into the Hummel and takes sad sack out of the game what a great name that is sad sack Anyone who frequents the World of Tanks Asia forums might be familiar with Sad Sack. He often comes up with some very 
interesting propositions for the game in regards to premium ammunition and all that kind of stuff. He often goes down in flames as well. Now Tim Bob's trying to put a few cheeky shots into that Tiger, but the Cheeto takes him out of the game. And now he's winning 10 tanks to 8, but it's not over yet. The, most of the tanks that are left on Tim Bob's side are pretty lightly armoured. Apart from the Super Pershing, and I guess the IS-6. Now winning at 11 to 8, so it's time for Tim Bob to run in and try and create a bit of havoc with his little derp derp gun. And put some damage into the side of this T-34-1, which gets killed by the Chi-2. He's not having a bad game either with his two kills. Artie gets taken out of the game, always handy to get rid of the artillery. And you can see all the damage counter, Tim Bob's, he's done 600 damage, which isn't, isn't too bad of a of a score in this little tier 6 light tank. But now he's going Rhymatol Borsig hunting. He's looking for the RHM. Even though the RHM's a tier 8. And Tim Bob's in a little tier 6. He's probably thinking that that lightly armoured tank destroyer could give me some, a nice amount of damage. Now it looks like the RHM's just fired. It looks like he's got the 150mm gun because it's quite short. Tim Bob gets a very handy 400 damage. With his first shot into him. His high explosive ammunition. You could often get a little bit more damage than you normally would. Another shot into the RHM and sets him on fire. Brings him down to 357 hit points. Looks like the AMX 12T is just run havoc around the artilleries in Tim Bob's side. But now Tim Bob knows that his reload is going to be a lot better than this RHM. Unfortunate to put that shot into the dirt for the RHM. Looks like he's just about reloaded. But Tim Bob can move around quicker than his gun. Takes him out of the game. You can see his damage count is now up to 1700 with a WN8 score of nearly 8000, which is a massive game in a tier 6 light tank, in a tier 8 game. But he's not done yet. He wants a little piece of this little tier 6 Frenchie, the AMX 12T. Unfortunate that shot didn't go, but he, he was mad not to take the shot. He had to have a shot before he got round the corner. Little German Empire, the little AMX 12T. Now Tim Bob with his three kills and his 1700 damage, he's on a charge. He knows he can take a few shots from that AMX 12T if he needs to. And the AMX T is running away from him, but he's running right into the path of the big IS-6. Unfortunate to miss that shot. Looks like he takes a shot from the IS-6. Tim Bob fires another shot on the run. The IS-6 takes him out of the game. It's a pretty good game there by the VK. As we have a look at the post-game battle results. It's a mastery bad Jace Tank, or even though it was a bit of a slow start, and there wasn't really much done at the first few minutes of the game, uh, mainly possibly due to his lag, which he's put in the comments of the replays website. But he's tops, comfortably top scored by experience. 1,208 base experience, and that's because he was only at tier 6 in a tier 8 game, you get the bonus experience for being low tier. 1,729 damage, 3 kills. He fired 22 shots, only 9 of them hit, but a lot of those shots were, were fired on the run. And also those clutch shots at the start of the game, peeking over the ridge lines and pulling back as to, to try to maintain his health and not, and not die too early. Um, still a very good result. 1,729 damage. Is a very handy result at tier 6 on the little German tier 6 light tank, the VK2801. Thanks for watching the replay. I've been very unwell the last couple of weeks. I've only just got back into doing these replays. Lucky I had quite a few up my sleeve. Great game there by Tim Bob from Watt University Southeast Asia clan. Thanks very much for the replay, mate. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time.